Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning students. Good morning sir. Good morning sir. How are you today? Fine, thank you. And you sir? I'm fine, thank you. Right, in this beautiful day we are going to continue our lesson. English lesson. Are you ready to learn English today? Yes, I'm ready. Yeah, so yeah. now we move to the new topic. So do you know what our topic today? Right, can you guess? No? Okay. Our topic today is about proverb and riddles. Well, maybe today we will be studying about proverb and the next meeting is going to be riddles. So what is in your mind when we are talking about proverb? Okay, hang on for a second. So before we go further, I'd like to introduce you our learning objective today. So our learning objective today is, okay, so to identify the social functions and text structure of proverb and riddle. And then the second is you will be able to state the detailed information, information presented in proverb and riddles. And you will be able to find various proverbs and riddles in different contexts. So I'm sorry for the spelling. Yes, would be C, not K, okay? And then you will be able to compare various proverbs and riddles from different sources. And the last but not the least, you will be able to interpret the implied meaning in proverb and riddles. Okay, those are our learning objectives today. So let's start with the topic. Okay, now, uh, before I'd like to ask you questions. What is in your mind when we are talking? Uh, oh, I have something, please guess, yeah. Time is money. What do you call that in Bahasa Indonesia? Have you heard that expression before? Time is Riba. money. Riba. Pernah dengar ungkapan itu? Pernah. Pernah. Okay, so in what do you call what do you say that in Bahasa Indonesia or what is in Bahasa Indonesia? Can you translate that in Bahasa Indonesia? Time is money. What does it mean in Bahasa Indonesia? Waktu adalah uang, sir. Waktu adalah uang. So what do you call that in Bahasa Indonesia? When we say, Waktu adalah uang. What, what is it called in Bahasa Indonesia? Peribahasa, sir. Peribahasa. It's correct. Yeah, that is in Bahasa Indonesia. But in English, we call pro proverb what is it called in english proverb proverb right so that's our topic today so so let's talk about the definition of proverb what is proverb in your mind yeah okay proverb is a simple or a concrete saying that express a truth based on common sense or particular experience humanity or another word or another yeah another words we can say a collection of wise sayings that offer advice about how to live your life yeah a collection of wise saying you know why saying what it, what does it mean wise saying kata kata di Bijak, yeah. A collection of wise saying that offer advice, and this saying sometimes or usually offer an advice. Biasanya it include or it it uh, contains or it implies an advice. Dia mengandung na sehat. What kind of advice? Advice how to live your life. You understand? 
that is proverb is a collection of wise saying ya yeah. or we say a wise saying wise saying kata bijak right that offer advice ya yeah. that that implies advice about how to live your life ya yeah. understand yes sir okay yes. so wise saying so the point is in the word Uh, wise sayings kata kata bi bijak that contains advice or that offer advice advice of what about uh, advice of how to live your life untuk cara tata cara hidup ya yeah. ya yeah, for example time is money it mean it is kind of advice that you have to use your time efficiently Don't waste your time because every single time you can earn money. Yeah, that can be like that. Yeah, because if you are able to use your time, it means you are able to earn money in your life. Is it? It means it's saying that time is very important, as important as money. Okay, so we should not waste money, and then we should not waste time. You get it, yes. right? So that what we call pro proverb. So you should not waste your time, and then because time is as important as money. So if you don't want to waste your money, so you should not waste your time as well. So that is the meaning of that proverb. So. Proverb is a collection, or you can say a wise saying that offer advice about how to live your life. Okay, so do you have any questions? Do you have a problem? No. Any problem? No. Okay, so we go further then now. Right. So now kinds of proverb. How do we form the proverb? Or what? What are what kinds? How many kinds are there? Right? How many kinds of proverb do we have? Okay. So the yes. first, uh, it can be a aphorism or it's a pepatah, right? This proverb would offer advice. Yeah, pepatah in Bahasa Indonesia. For example, like don't go too far in small. Don't go too far in small. What does it mean? Yeah, I try it in Bahasa Indonesia. Don't go too far in small. What does it mean? Yeah, persoalan kecil jangan dibesar besarkan. Yeah. When you have a problem, that is a small thing. When when there is something happen and that is a small thing, don't go too far. Oh, usah dibesar besarkan. Yeah. That is only a small thing. So you should not go too far. You should not make it very serious. Yeah. Okay. This is a aphorism, uh, what we call it pepatah in Bahasa Indonesia. And the next is uh, that proverb can be parable, perumpamaan. So this has a moral lesson and has parable, parable. Yeah, it's parabola, right? To carry coals to Newcastle. To carry coals to Newcastle. Coals itu apa namanya? Uh, batu bara ya membawa batu bara ke Newcastle. What does it mean? Bagaikan membuang garam ke laut. Ya. Yeah. Okay, so that is probable. And then the next is the next is slogan or pemeo. This proverb gives spirit or motivation. Ya. Yeah. The example is early bird gets warm. Ya. Yeah, the slogan early bird. Get warm. If you get up early, or the bird which get up early, they will get warm. Because if you get up late, or if the bird get up very late, and then the warm will go inside to the ground because of the sunshine. When the sun shines, the warm will go inside the ground. Or the food or the warm will be eaten by others. So, so also humans, yeah. We as a human, we should not get up too late in the morning. Otherwise, 
we will miss everything. Ya. Yeah. In bahasa Indonesia, we call Tuhan akan memberikan rezeki kepada makhluknya yang lebih dahulu bangun, ya. Yeah. Not only a bird, but also people. We as a human, ya. Yeah. If you want to earn more money, ya. Yeah, more luck, we have to get up early. If you want to get more luck, you have to get up early. Otherwise, otherwise it will be taken by other yeah those who get up early they will get more luck than who get up very late okay that is slogan and then the next is idiom it is a phrase that has a group of words with a different meaning from the meaning of all the individual word so idioms yeah i think you are familiar with this one so There are group of words when it's joined together it changes the meaning yeah it changes the meaning the meaning is not like when it stand individually yeah when the meaning it will not the same when it stand alone so that what we call idiom yeah or bahasa indonesia ya idiom ya gabungan kata kalau dia itu digabung dia merubah arti artinya berubah dari arti perkata tersebut ya yeah. for example like pull your sock up pull your sock up it, it, the meaning is improve your behavior right so these are kinds of proverbs so the proverb can be from aphorism parable slogan and idiom okay right so now we are going to learn the example of proverb please Uh, oh, before that, the purpose, yeah, the purpose of uh, the social purpose of proverb. Proverb have a function to teaching or enlightening and persuading people. So the function of proverb is to teach people, teach people, enlighten people, mencerahkan, yeah, and persuade people, dan membujuk orang. Yeah, persuade people, teach people, and enlighten people to do something in a positive ways for sure. Okay, the function and proverb play many roles in society, in our society, in our community, in our cultures. We got a lot of proverbs. Yeah, every cultures, every area in Indonesia, they have their own proverb. Yeah. And that's good, right? And the most common role is to educate on what might happen if they do something. Yeah. And proverb also educate, educate people on what? What might happen if they do something? If you do something, this and that, and what will happen? So there is a proverb of that. For example, like yeah, time, uh, man, time is money, for example. Yeah. And a proverb contain wisdom, truth, moral, and traditional views. Yeah, the then the proverb uh, when we talking about proverb, the proverb contains uh, wisdom, kata kata bijak, yeah, kebijaksanaan, kata kata bijak, truth, eh, kebenaran can be true, right? And then morals and traditional views dan pandangan pandangan tradisional, ya yeah, sesuai dengan budaya setempat, ya, yeah, and traditional views. So that is proverb. Okay. So far, so good. You got a problem? Question? You have any question? No, sir. Okay, very good. So now we're going to practice. Yeah. So these are the example. The proverb is hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. Hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. This is the proverb in English. And what does it mean? The meaning is bad thing might happen. So be prepared. Be ready. Yeah? Be prepared with the best, uh, the good thing and the bad thing. Yeah? If you do something, you must be ready to accept 
if something good happen or is something bad happen so the the proverb of this a uh, situation is hope for the best but prepare for the worst ya nurjana can you repeat once again nurjana lubis yes sir ya can you repeat hope for the best but prepare for the worst Yeah, hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. Yeah, it means when you do something, when you do something, or you plan to do something, yeah, you must be ready. You can you can expect that something good will happen. Yeah, you can hope for the best. Yeah, something good to happen, but you must be ready. You must be prepared. You must prepare yourself. Also for the bad thing that can happen, yeah. The 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 proverb of this situation is hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. Okay, and the next is better late than never. Better late than never. What does it mean, Zainazwa? Have you heard this? Have you heard? Have you ever heard this proverb before, Zaini? Zainina, so can you hear me? Yes, sir. Ah, have you heard that this proverb before? Better late than never. Pernah dengar nggak ini? Are you familiar with this proverb? Nggak, sir. Nggak pernah dengar. Okay, so what does it mean? The meaning is uh, better late than never. When you when you want to do something, when you do something, or It is best to do something on time. Yes, of course. To do something on time is the best. But if you cannot do it on time, do it late. Better late. Yeah. Then never. Yeah, better late than never. If you plan to do something or if you do something, it is best to do something on time. Yeah. But if you cannot do it So if you don't if you can't do it on time do it late do it later it's better than never yeah understand yes sir yes sir uh, can you can you repeat once again what the the proverb nurja uh, who's that zaini najwa yeah yes can sir you, yeah please this one can you read it better late than never Better late than ne never. I hope you I hope you remember because at the end there will be questions about that. Okay. Next is don't put all your eggs in one basket. You know basket? Yes, sir. Yes, basket. Sir. Yeah. Do you think when you put eggs in the basket, is it safe or not? No, sir. Uh, Sometimes not, right? Sometimes not, uh, and and egg is is kind of very fragile, yeah. Uh, uh, kind of uh, fragile things, yeah. This kind of very uh, very fragile. You know, fragile. Fragile itu mudah pecah, ya. Yeah. yeah, you know eggs, ya yeah, kan mudah pecah, ya. Yeah. So if you have many eggs, or don't put all your eggs in one basket. So because you know basket is not a safe place to store eggs maybe uh, so better to put your eggs in several basket so it, when one basket crash you still have other eggs in other basket okay so what does it mean the, the meaning of this proverb is have a backup plan Don't risk all your money or time in one plan. So if you want to do, if you do something, you have you must have plan A and plan B. Yeah, right. So or you must have a backup plan. Don't risk all your money or your time in one plan. Okay. So can you read once again, Nurjana? I have how many students are here? Oh, Zuria, Zuria. Yes, sir. Okay, please read. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. That's good. Okay, so next we continue. 
Okay, the next proverb is, right, two wrongs don't make right. Two wrongs don't make right. What does it mean? Uh, when someone has done something bad to you, trying to get revenge will only make things worse. Yeah. When someone do bad, uh, what, what, when someone do something to you, what happened? Hang up a second. What's happened here? Can you see? Yes, sir. Oh. Okay, so the next is, I cannot find it. Are you still are you still with me? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, and then you, you still watch my can you still see my my slide or not? Yes, sir. We can see. Okay, all right, so sorry for the interruption. So we continue now. Okay, so this one. Two wrongs don't make right. Yeah. When someone has done something bad to you and then you try to get revenge. So your action, when you do, when you, when you do revenge, when you revenge, it will only make things worse. You understand? Do you understand? Yes, sir. Two wrongs don't make right. You know revenge? Revenge? Balas dendam. Yeah, balas dendam. Someone has done something bad to you and then you make some other bad things to, to him. So it will not solve a problem. It will make something worse. Yeah, it will make things worse. So what is the best to do? Some someone do bad things, or some someone um, do something wrong to you. You should forgive him. That is the solution. But if you if you if you do some the same thing, you make something bad to him or to her. It means there are two wrong things here. Yeah, there are two wrongs here. So the two wrongs don't make it right. Yeah, it make it worse. You understand? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Surya, can you repeat? Yes, sir. Okay, please read. Two wrongs don't make right. Okay, right. Okay, please try to memorize this, okay? The next is the pen is mightier than the sword. The pen is mightier then the sword, the sword, you say sword, not sword. Okay, the pen is mightier than the sword. Yeah. Trying to convince people with ideas and words is more effective than trying to force people to do what you want. So if you want to do people, so sometimes a pen trying to convince people with ideas and words. Yeah. When you want to ask someone to do something, sometimes writing by paper, by letter, or by word, is uh, more effective than to force people to do what you want. For example, you want to ask your friend to clean the house. So if you ask him, you push him, please do. Or you push him, you force him to do what you want, maybe he will not do that. But if you try to write with a nice, writing nice word and then you put you, you you attach on his board or cupboard and then he will read it and it will be more effective so what is it that it means 
uh, that is uh, the, the, the matching proverb for that situation is the pen is mightier than the, the sword. Can you repeat once again, uh, Zaini Najwa? Yes, sir. Yes. The pen is mightier than the sword. The sword. You said sword, not sword. Yeah, sword. W-nya dihilangkan ya. The pen is mightier than the sword. Yeah. Bacanya the sword, but not the sword. Okay. And then the last is when in Rome, do as the Romans. When in Rome, do as the Romans. Romans ini the people who live in Rome. Yeah. What does it mean? In Bahasa Indonesia, masuk kandang kami mengembek ya. What is in Bahasa Indonesia deh? Kalau kamu masuk kandang kambing, kamu ikut ngembek gitu, mengembek gitu. So you act the way that people around you acting. This phrase might come in handy when you are traveling abroad. Notice that people do things differently than you are used to. So when you are traveling somewhere, when you are traveling somewhere, so the tradition or the culture or the tradition might be different from your tradition. So you must act like what they act. You must do what, like what they do. Otherwise, you against them. Yeah. So when you are living somewhere which is not your culture and your tradition, so you must follow them. You must act like what they act. Jadi kamu yang harus mengikutinya. Ya, bertingkah seperti mereka bertingkah. Jadi menyesuaikan diri. So in English, we call when the Rome do as the Romans. Adelia Destri, please read. And in Rome, do uh -huh. as the Romans. The Romans. Okay. So we have several here, actually. Uh, so there are others here. Uh, like keep your friend close and your enemy closer. The early bird catch the worm. We did already. There is no place like home. Yeah. You cannot judge a book by its cover. So this is an example of the, uh, what is that, a proverb. Okay, now I'm going to have, a. Uh, you will have questions. But before that, let's repeat once again. Okay, so please read the proverb. Nur, start from Nurjana. Number one. Hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. Okay, Zaini Najwa number two. Better late than never. Okay. Zuria, number three. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Okay. Next is Ade Adelia. Adelia. Okay. Who's next? Uh, Habil. Habil. The pen is markier than sword. The sword, yeah. W nya hilang ya. The sword, sword, yeah. W nya hilang. Sword, jadi sword, yeah. Uh, Diva Ulia. When in Rome, do as, do as the Romans. Okay. Are you ready for the exercises now? Yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. right. So, here are. Okay, get ready. Okay. The case is. See, so what is... What is the proverb of the situation? Please raise your hand. Who can answer? Who will try? The words, sir. What? Words. Yeah, the proverb. What is the proverb? What is the proverb? Hope for the best, but prepare for the worst, sir. Okay, hope for the best and prepare for the was very good yeah okay very good who is that who is that adel sir huh adel sir adel yadesri okay next okay yeah that's correct mm, okay and the next is right this one it is best to do something on time but if you can't do it on time do it late who will answer Better late than never. Better late than never. Who is talking? I cannot see you. Nurjana Siapa tadi yang jawab? Hubis, huh? Nurjana Hubis. Nurjana. Nurjana. Okay. Very good, Nurjana. Yeah. 
Better late than never. The next is <coughs> have a backup plan. Don't risk all your money or time in one plan. What is uh, that is the meaning? Okay, what is the proverb of this don't, question? Don't put all don't your, put your, your, your eggs in, in one basket. basket. Very good. Yes, that's right. That's correct. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Okay, next. When someone has done something bad to you, trying to get revenge will only make things worse. Okay, what is the proverb? Two wrongs don't wrong. make a right. Don't make a right. Okay, very good. Two wrongs don't make a right. Uh, mm. Two wrongs don't make a right. Very good. Yes, next. Trying to convince people with ideas and words is more effective than trying to force people to do what you want. Can you? The pen is mightier than the sword. The pen is mightier than the sword. Okay, very good. Yeah, the pen is mightier than the sword. Okay, and the last. Act the way that the people around you are acting. This phrase, okay. So, what is the proverb of this? When is wrong? The when is wrong? Romans. As the Romans. Romans. Once again, who? Who's talking? When is wrong? Do as the Romans. Yeah. Okay. Very good. When in Rome, do as the Romans. Okay. That. Those are example of. Proverbs, okay? Right, so we are now at the end of our lesson. So for the riddles, we will continue next meeting, okay? Okay, so, okay, so this is for today. Okay, thank you for joining our class today and have a nice day. We close by resetting Alhamdulillah. 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 Thank you very much. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. 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 Waalaikumsalam.